Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys in action today against the Winooski Spartans. Our sponsor today, Willie's Store, 533-2621, open every day 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Seven days breakfast all day. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Nice crowd here. We are about a week away from peak foliage, but it's coming out, and it is starting to get truly spectacular up here on the roof of the Industrial Arts Building. And we're looking forward to some truly spectacular soccer action today. These Winooski Spartans come in with a record of 6-0. And, oh. and uh, just some phenomenal soccer we're about to see out of these guys. Uh, Hazen with a record of 4-2. and two. Their last game was played last Wednesday at Enosburg. Lost a tough 2-1 overtime decision. And that was like the third or fourth overtime game they played. Let me get to the... Uh, Official stats here and see third overtime game. In fact, they played a double overtime game earlier in the season. Talked to coach uh, Kyle Bursing before the game. He said the fact that they've had a little bit of rest, they have no real injuries out here. He's hoping to contain these Spartans and make a game out of this. And uh, he has pulled up James Montgomery to varsity for the rest of the season to help out. Increase the numbers a little bit. The Wildcats are a little thin in bench for the beginning of the season, but looking a little bit better now. And as usual, as anybody who has heard me play call the uh, basketball games for Winooski Griff, we're going to have some fun with these names. Okay, good. I did talk to uh, Coach Steve Feist before the game. He helped me out. Most of them are phonetic, but uh, I'm going to do the best I can, and I think we're going to skip stick with just last names. You get into the first names, and then it becomes a real tongue twister. Opening tip, moments away. Soccer action here at Hudson Fields. Overcast day, a little bit of a breeze up here on top of the uh, building, but I was down on the field earlier. It was a little more still down there. Trees blowing a little, though. Winooski controls the opening tip. Hazen defense has been playing absolutely lights out the last few games. Let's see what they can do. Ball goes out. Hussein Amuri. Actually, that was uh, Musinovic, and I'm not going to try the first name on that. That uh, tipped that ball out of bounds for the Spartans. Finn Rooney. Trying to make a play up to Isaiah Baker. Spartans on the attack. Nice give and go back. Lutel over. That's Mommy. Back to Lutel here in the middle. I can't see that number, but kicked out by Lincoln Mitchett. And I think the Wildcat defense is going to be tested here today. Co Ethan Shoplin. I'm sure we'll see some action. There's a player here I wish I would have asked Griff before. It's got like 93 goals or something in three years, I believe. That's what I've heard is that uh, Just a phenomenal. I don't know the name of the player. To find out, I wish I would have uh, followed up with that. Cody mentioned it the other night. Musinovic here on the near side working against Anthony Patrick. Ball outs. Tyson Davison, nice move to get by the defender. Milan Magar defending Tyson on that one. Wyatt Bellavance tries to control the ball in midfield. Spartans moving back up. Shot in, and these guys have speed. They can chip that ball over, chunk it, whatever we want to call it. And they have the speed to catch up with that once they get by the defense. Throw in Mangar, taken out by Patrick. Hey. 
Hayes in defense back. Patrick. It's Caleb Friend trying to clear out. Nice cross. Shot blocked out the wall. Julius Rosenthal on that block. Mommy back over cross field. Was looking at uh, another player named Mommy whose last name is Mommy. That's M A M I. Spartans control. There's that kick ahead. Shoplin, the mini shopper. Sweeps that one up. Punt back. Controlled by Winooski. Nice play taken down by Riker. Willettes back up to midfield. Cats looking to move ahead of their own. Isaiah Baker, he's got a step. Puts the head up. Defense back. Tyson Davison gives chase on the far side. Wants to cross it back in. Finn Rooney. Center. A little too far. Out of the reach. Let him a little too far. Here's the catch with a chance to strike here. See how good this Winooski defense is. Baker. Inside. Wide open. Tyson Davison got the turn on it. Went wide. Beautiful pass from Baker over to Tyson Davis and got the turn, got the shot, just went a little wide. Mampuya is the goalie. Nice play by Lincoln Mitchell to chest that one down. For Caleb Friend gives chase here on the near side, ball rolls out. Patrick has that one skip between his feet. He knocks that one out, though. Throw in Mommy. Goes to Lutell. Lutell with the lane. Goes to the defense almost. Taken out. Davison. Moves it up ahead. Caleb Friend working against Mangar. Mangar up ahead. He was looking for Lutell. Throw in Patrick. Anthony Patrick, big throw up the line. Finds Tyson Davison. Throw in Mangar. Colton Nimi up ahead to Baker. Nice give and go. Headed out, though, by the defense. Headed up by Colton Nimi now. Winooski back up the field. Caleb Friend pitches up ahead. Tyson back. Matthias Waki Longo right with him, though. Chip out by the Spartans' defense. Wyatt Bellavance tries to get it by Magar. Ball up through. Rosenthal to the side. Patrick brings it down. Turn. Finn Rooney gets the header on that. Rosenthal up the middle, trapped down by Magar. 
ball comes screaming over. That's, that's, uh, thought it was going to be trouble. Thought that ball was bouncing towards the goal, Griff. Got it a little, a little lucky there. But wasn't what he intended. Throw in Mangar. Mangar working against Davison up ahead. Patrick blocked down by Musinovic. Tyson Davison up ahead. Caleb Friend gives chase along with uh, Waki Longo. He's in defense racing back. Nice play. Anthony Patrick to take away that crossing attempt by Magar. Milan Magar, a senior. We'll take the corner kick for the Spartans. The most exciting play in all of soccer, Griff. Let's hope it's a little less not exciting. exciting this yeah. Time, yeah. Nice play. Boy. Terrell Owens like catch by Ethan Shoplin right there. Snagged that one amongst traffic. Throw in Spartans. We're about 10 minutes in. Shoplin, has that one get by him? Back out, bunch of Spartans there. Colton Nimi clears that one out. Here's a long shot back up. Shoplin grabs that one as well. Ashbin Mangar takes that one from about half field, didn't he, Griff? That was pretty opportunistic. Hoping but, maybe to get a teammate on the a, end of it, maybe? Yeah, get a bounce, get a teammate down there. Wyatt Bellavance. That was a chip if there ever was a chip. Here's Tyson Davidson. Weeki Longo's fast back there. Finn Rooney up ahead. Baker gets a foot on it. Mampuya with the save for the Spartans. Rosenthal. We travel to Winooski on Saturday, October 19th, final game of the regular season. Under the lights, that game will be played. Went over there last year for a game under the lights. It was cold. But fun. Shot high. You ever been to soccer under the lights, Griff? Um, I'll tell you what, I have been to a New England Revolution game back a few years ago mm. under the lights at Gillette yeah. Stadium. Nice. But I've never been to a high school game. I've been, uh, it's pretty cool. I had a chance to go to a uh, UVM girls game a few years ago with my daughter, and it was a lot of fun. That was under the lights. And uh, last year they played Enosburg under the lights up there for the, I believe it was their homecoming weekend, if I remember correctly. And uh, Winooski, I think it was their senior night. Uh, we went up there last year as well. So I saw two games nice. last year, high school games. Kind of a neat experience. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Winooski looking to move the ball back up. Hazen staying with him. This is what Coach Kyle Bursing was hoping to do, just contain, stick with him. See what happens. Baker slipped down over there on the near side. Bellavance, he'll take the chip, the chunk, the shot. High and wide. Wyatt. You know, the big thing they're saying about the Kansas City Chiefs this year is they can anywhere on the field is the red zone for them. They can score from anywhere. Yeah. Wyatt Bellavance is like that. He can shoot from anywhere. We saw him make a long goal earlier. We did. Year. It was pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Exciting stuff. Caleb Fred trying to bring that one down. Back, Wyatt up ahead, Colton Nimi trapping down. Looks it over, looks over at Baker, nice ball. Baker, oh, what a beautiful play. Tyson Davison back, Baker goes down again. 
Finn Rooney over there on the far side. Can he get a shot? He does. Save, Mampuya. Beautiful passing. Colton Nimi will take the corner kick. Davidson tried to get the head on that, went over his head. Winooski up though. This is where their speed can burn us sometimes. No, James Montgomery right there to break that one up. Ball up ahead. Mitchett brings that one down. Mitchett again. Caleb Friend trying to turn. Here's Anthony Patrick. Yes, back into the Winooski zone. Patrick. A couple of Winooski players sparring for the ball right there. Montgomery clears that one out. Davison, nice foot. Baker can get over there. Cleared out. Montgomery. Nice move to get through the defense. Mitchett right there to break that one up, though. Is that Mitchett? No, that's uh, Montgomery. James Montgomery. Down the line, Davison gives chase along with a Mangar. Kill a friend. Davison. I believe we're going to have... An infraction called on the Wildcats, which is going to give the Wildcats the free, the uh, Spartans the free kick. Ashpin Mangar, way up ahead. Patrick plays that one back. That one goes under a Musinovic, looking to make a move, bring the ball back. He's back to mommy. Baker, Bellavance, tried to get it by. Patrick gives chase along with Bysimba. Albert Bysimba back on that play. For the Spartans, Patrick will have the free kick. And I'll tell you, you watch these guys every once in a while, Griff. They'll do more with their feet with the ball right in front of them and not touch the ball, but it confuses the player so much. You know, they go, sort of go into this Lord of the Dance routine. <laughs> okay. And uh, you know, it looks like Michael Flatley out there, but the ball is just sitting there, but their feet are moving so fast. Here, we're going to get another shooting opportunity there, and there's a goal. Uh, Lutel, a senior, gets that one by Ethan Shopland. She saw the ball went across. Defense couldn't quite cap up with it. Gave him the wide open shot. Nothing Shoplin could really do with it, but Hope couldn't get in front of it. With 23.50 left to go here in the first half, it is the Winooski Spartans with the 1-0 lead. And I have remembered a pen again. <laughs> Last name is Lutel, L-U-I-T-E-L. But yeah, they'll have the ball right in front of them and they'll move their feet and wiggle their hips and spin around and, you know, like I say, they do this Michael Flatley routine and the ball's just sitting there. But you're so mesmerized watching their feet. I saw one of them do it just a few seconds ago. Chip up ahead. Another scoring opportunity right there. Defender slips down, Mitchell slips down. Turn, cross. And there goes the second goal of the game, and I believe that was number six. Come on, Red, let's go. Nuru Mami. Or Mammy, if you want to. M A M I. And just like that, the Spartans are up two zip, scoring a couple of quick goals. 23 24 left to go here in the first half. And uh, we did see 
Lincoln slipped down. He jumped back up. Couldn't quite catch up. Field must be rather slick out there. We did get some heavy rains last night. Yeah. And uh, looking a little closer, Lance. I think that's number nine. Number for nine. Spartans. Okay. We'll give that to Albert by Simba then. Otherwise, it was a beautiful goal. First, they were looking to contain. Now they've got a score. They've dug a little bit of a hole for themselves now. Patrick up ahead. Cody Hall gives chase. Waki Longo back on him. Cody trying to make something against a couple of Spartans, trying to get it through. Still out. And I'll tell you this, Griff, since the Oxbow game, Cody has not drank any of my cherry Cokes. It's good. you got to lay the law down. Exactly. you got to draw the line somewhere. Yep. Throw in. Win is this gentleman's name, number 22. It's spelled N-G-U-Y-E-N. Mm -hmm. But it's pronounced win. Yep. yep. I'm glad their coach clarified that for me. Steve Feiss gave me some pointers on the names. They look a little crazy, but if you do them phonetically, you can make yourself not sound quite so foolish. Pass over, blocked down by Bellavance. Ball back out by Montgomery. Davison trying to make a move. Throw in Anthony Patrick. Julius Rosenthal coming in. 21-17 left to go in the first half. Spartans up two zip. This is Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Willie's Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. In the Hardwick Village Restaurant, it's across, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days, breakfast all day. And once again, we thank everybody, all of the remaining, uh, this started about the, about the second or third home game, all of the home games for both the Wildcat Boys and Lady Cat Girls sponsorship sold out. So we thank everybody who's done that. And uh, once again, there probably could possibly be a few spots left for the basketball. But you'll want to uh, check on that. Go to hctv.us. Fill out the contact information, send them an email or something like that. Get you set up for Wildcat basketball action. We could not be us without our sponsors, right, Griff? That's right. That's why we're here. Well, that's how we're here. How we're here, yes. <laughs> you know why. Why we're here, we ask ourselves that on some days when it's blowing, you know, 20 miles an hour and we're trying to hang on up here. Beautiful day today. Like this overcast against the leaves. A little bit of a breeze. Cody trying to catch up with that one. He's got a step. Taken out. Wiki Longo. Or Wiki Longo is tough back here on this defense. Matthias Wiki Longo. I believe that's Win with the throw in. I thought he picked his back foot up. Did you see that, Chris? Dude, Hard to a tell. Real good look at it. I don't know if they're gonna be tight about that or if yeah. they're gonna let him go. Hard to tell from the angle I had to. He couldn't. He might not have. I don't like to. I don't like to make it unless I know for sure. But you know how I am. I'm a stickler for these legal throw-ins, <laughs> as opposed to these chest passes that we've seen at times. Bellavance trying to move that one by. Surrounded by a quadrant of Spartans. And when it's four on one, Team in White's going to come out with the ball. Bellavance, chip over, looking for Baker. Streaking in was a player. That was uh, Sa His first name is Sebastian. <laughs> Saharish. Sahara. 
Cross field, Finn Rooney down. Davison puts a shot on from outside. Off the post. You're back. Here's Finn Rooney trying to get the foot on it. Blocked out. Glorious opportunity for the catch right there to try and get back in. This ball went off the crossbar. They had actually gotten it up over Mount Puya. A couple inches lower, we'd have had ourselves a goal. Shopper. Chunks that one up the sideline. Spartans trying to penetrate this Hazen defense. Ball up over. Caleb Friend pitches that one up. It's a foot race back. I think Waukee Longo is going to win that race all day long. I don't know if we've got anybody with speed enough to catch, keep up with him. Ooh. Offsides. Najib Ali. A step off sides on that one. <laughs> Davison up ahead. Baker. Can't quite get there. Mampuya. Kind of a fastball kick up there, a line drive punt to center field. Defense back. Link, uh, Montgomery over there working against by Simba. Bellavance. Bringing that one up, goes by. Plays it up ahead, Caleb Friend. Looking ahead for Baker, can't quite get it there. Spartans up, taken down, Mitchett. Turns, Friend. He's looking for Tyson Davison. Ball squirts through. Shopper will get up, come up with that one. The mini shopper. Davison up over. Taken out. Walkie Longo. Wyatt Bellavance ships that one up. Taken out again by the Spartans defense. Bellavance. Can't quite get through. Cats have definitely had a couple of opportunities so far in the first half. Just haven't been able to really capitalize yet. Finn Rooney. Finn Rooney looking up ahead. Mampuya. Boy, if he hadn't come up with that, Griff. Cody right there waiting to pounce. Would have been easy pickings. Is that a, is that a thing? Easy pickings. Easy pickings, yeah. Sure it is. It Absolutely. Is <laughs> He would have been ripe for the picking. Yes. <laughs> Shot high by Lutel, who already has one goal for the Spartans. Looking for a second. Boy, and I'll tell you, it gets any darker uh, here in the second half, Griff. We may be playing under the lights. Would be pretty cool someday to have lights up over here. Yeah, that could be neat. Walkie Longo over far side. The hall on the far side.
Spartans throw it. Play back. Wyatt Bellavance, midfield, played back by the Spartans. Finn Rooney giving chase on the far side. You know, Griff, we do have one player who might be able to keep up with Walkie Longo, and that's Finn Rooney. Finn Rooney is He's pretty quick. about as fast as they come, yeah. Yep. I think he might need a step. You know, if he got a step by him, might be able to beat him. Here come the Spartans on the attack, taking out the wall, Rosenthal. Julius, the wall of defense, Rosenthal. Going to give the Spartans the corner. Ball up. Played back. Nice trap. Wow, middle high. Nice trap by Bysimba. Get that ball down and played back into the middle for his offense. Shot went high. Rosenthal on the goal kick. High spinning kick, middle of the field, skips off of Bellavance's head. Cats can't control it though. Here come the Spartans again. Defense back. Nice play by Montgomery. Pick the pocket of the Spartans player. And he kind of gets it returned right there. But Montgomery back over here, far side. Cody got a slip down as well. Cody trying to cross. Pokes it through. Nobody there. Finn Rooney on the far side. Wow. I believe that was DeHaul playing against Finn Rooney over there. He closed fast. Cross field looking over here on the near side. Win. Set up. Chip up ahead, Rooney. They got a player open. Shot on to Shopper. Ethan Shoplin with an outstanding save for the Cats. I think that was Lutell looking for a second goal if I saw that right. Then another player, this Mblizi, number 24 with a headband, was wide open across the field as well. Bellavance. Now that is a true chunk, Griff. Chunked it pretty far. Chunked it pretty far. It was a big chunk. Shot. Cross. Kick taken out. Bellavance. The chip that time. Walkie Longo plays that one ahead. Julius Rosenthal back. Here's Baker trying to get it over. Colton Nimi trying to make something happen over there as well. Taken out by Hussein Amuri. Nine minutes left to go in the first half. Swinuski up by a score of two zip. But the Cats have had opportunities. Shot off the side of the net. Uh, we had that shot that uh, Tyson couldn't quite get the turn on up here, and then we had the other shot that went off the crossbar. Could easily have this game tied up. See if they can mount any kind of attack, score at least one, maybe two go in, come out at halftime. Tied or down one would be nice. Baker goes down. Mitchett plays that one. Rosenthal.
Bellavance over. Baker with a head over. Finn Rooney playing that one ahead. Defense, rare misplay by the defense over there. DeHaul's been all over it. We have a Winooski player down here. I didn't see him go down. I was looking across field at the ball. Don't really know what happened here. Sort of away from the play. Number six, Nuru Mami. A sophomore for the Spartans. Holding a hip or a back or something maybe. Lady Cat girls in action here tomorrow night. I cannot remember who they are playing. I believe it's going it, to be Richford. Is it Richford? Yeah. Lady Cats, a rash of injuries. Uh, Kai Gilbert is now out with uh, knee issue, I believe. Uh, Ali Gabary suffered a broken something in near her hand wrist. I know she had her one hand was all taped up. There's something broken. A tough loss against Oxbow the other night. Lost a couple other girls uh, earlier in the season, so. See what they can do. I'm sure our co-commentary, Harry Bissett, will be coaching his very best. Lady Cat's still looking for that elusive first win so far, but they have played tough the last few games. Baker on the far side trying to make something happen. Spartans with the throw in. Spartans moving up. Bunch of lady cat girls walking in front of us. Griff, I believe practice is over. Cody trying to make it happen. Mampuya with the boot out. Baker on the far side. Can he get the shot? Get the angle. Get the shot. Ball goes over. Goal! Isaiah Baker brings the ball up through. Gets through the defender. Puts this high shot up. Kind of a soft shot. Chipped it. Chipped it. Yeah. That was a chip shot. Yeah. That uh, Mampuya actually got on. Bounced up and over, though. I think he might have fooled him up. I was almost like throwing a knuckleball, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Fooled him up with the speed on that shot, and uh, beautiful move, beautiful touch by Isaiah Baker over there on the far side to give the Wildcats a little bit of a boost here, bring this score back to 2-1 to one with 5.56 left to go in the first half. Isaiah Baker, the junior, the butcher, the baker, the goal maker. See if the Cats can build off a little bit of momentum here. win up ahead and that was Emblizi offsides once again by a step I mean Kyle when, and talking to uh, Cats coach Kyle Bursing he said that uh, 
We lost to Enosburg, of course, 2-1 in overtime in a real tough-fought match last weekend. Winooski went to Enosburg and beat him 3-2. So he was hoping, you know, with uh, using that game for sort of a comparison with us standing toe-to-toe -to -toe and taking Enosburg to overtime and Enosburg taking these guys, holding them to, you know, uh, three goals despite losing the game. I think was sort of his uh, benchmark he was shooting here. If that makes any sense to you. I think so. I'm trying to explain that correctly. <laughs> I know I sometimes talk in circles. Now, Enosburg is, is a good team. We played them twice now, and both times went to overtime. Is that correct? Um, or did the first one not go into it? I am not sure. I will look at the schedule here and see. No, that was our that was our first time playing Enosburg. Uh, Fairfax, we took the double uh, OT Fairfax. here. Okay. Yep. Enosburg, we play them uh, here at home on Thursday, the 17th of October. Rosenthal up to the middle of the field. Here's Baker. Nimi. Cody's, oh, that kind of could have gone through. Cody had a step. See if he could have outraced Walkie Longo to the goal. Here's up ahead, Finn Rooney. Playing against Waukee Longo. Chips the ball through. Finn Rooney goes down. Oh, I believe we're going to have a penalty shot. A penalty shot. As it was Hussein Amuri taking Finn Rooney down in the box. Now we see Colton Nimi lining up. Is it, I guess anybody can take the kick? Not anybody the, can take the okay. kick. Okay, that I did not know. Yeah. I assumed it had to be the player that was involved in the infraction. Kind of like a technical foul. Okay. Okay. Colton Nimi lines up for the PK. Shot on. Score! Goal! Colton Nimi on the penalty kick. Notch this one up. 2-2 with 3.35 left to go. Here in the first half, and folks, do we have a ball game for you today? Wow, excitement! And joining us right now, Lady Cats coach Harry Bassett. And I'll tell you, if, if the corner kick is the exciting, most exciting playing soccer, that's the second most exciting play. PK for the goal. Excellent. So far, we have played a pretty good game, Harry. Uh, done a pretty good job at containing their offense. You know, they got a couple of shots, slipped through the defense, and got in. Uh, you know, came down to one on one with with Ethan against the shooter. Um, he's made a couple of beautiful saves. We've had a couple of opportunities as well up front. We had one shot go off the crossbar. Tyson Davison couldn't quite get the turn on another one. Um, good, good showing so far against the undefeated Winooski Spartans. Colton Nimi tying things up on the PK after it was uh, it was a uh, I'm looking for his name here I can't find the player's name uh, a Murray for Winooski taking down Finn Rooney in the box that gives and I just learned as I, I want to mark down the goal for Colton as well Harry that uh PK is sort of like a technical foul. Anybody can take the shot once. Yep. I, I, I assumed it was the player involved in the infraction. Nope. But. nope. Usually a team will have, usually before the game, the team or the coach will have decided uh, who's responsible for taking free kicks or penalty kicks, S similar to a direct kick outside the box. Okay. Um, it's whoever the strongest player is on your team in terms of technique or power, whatever you're Coach decided Colton Nimi showed why he uh, proved Kyle Bursing right on that one to let him take the PKs. Cody had a great shot there. Uh, Mampuya came way out to uh, try and play that ball. Cody chipped it up over. And uh, here, you want to move your microphone? We want to hear everything that you've got to say. It seems like Hazen's making a habit out of uh, when I come up here. When I finish up with practice, it seems like Hazen's down 2-0. <laughs> My girls come over, and I come up here, and then all of a sudden we're tied up, and game gets exciting. So exactly. Let's hope we're in for another hazing comeback. 
Good news tonight. There are no gymnastics tonight, so my wife and I can stay here. Excellent. I don't have to worry about who's going to go get Lydia. Excellent. Well, this will probably be the first time it's not overtime. <laughs> exactly. We've played our share. I believe we played three overtime games with one of them going to double OT. So, um, But the uh, Wildcats came in tonight. Uh, I talked to uh, Kyle before the game. Kind of tanned, ready, and rested. No real injuries and everything looking good. And they've had a little bit of time off after a tough loss against Enosburg last week in overtime. Shot blocked out. Lincoln Mitchell blocked that one as Lutell was looking to get his second goal of the game. Mitchell cleared that one out. Here's a shot up. Shopper up makes the save. Shopper with the punt up ahead. 45 seconds left to go in the first half. Colton, can he put that one up on that walkie long go as fast? There's Baker over. Cody wants to turns around and gets the block on it. Cody in. Oh. Quick, I get it. Mampuya came out to play it. Cody got the body on it. 30 seconds left to go in the half. It'll be a Winooski goal kick. Katz almost got another shot. Scoring opportunity there. Friend, Caleb Friend up ahead. Mapuya goes in, plays it off the bounce. Baker right there. Five seconds. A clever idea with that much time on the clock especially, but he, if he's able to bend that shot a little bit more by putting some spin on the ball and curl it as it's coming towards the keeper and then coming back towards the center of that box, he would have could have had a chance to get a header on it or get a quick shot on it and at the end. But. Wildcats, though, getting goals from Isaiah Baker and Colton Nemi on a penalty kick. Tied this one up after Lutell and Bysimba had given the Spartans the only two-zip two zip lead. Now it's tied 2-2 at the half. And stick around for this. This is going to be a great game. Once again, this is Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Harry Bissett up here on commentary. Our sponsors today, Willie's Store. 533-2621, open every day 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Seven days breakfast all day. We'll see you at the start of the second half. And we're just about a minute away from second half action here at Hudson Fields in beautiful Hardwick, Vermont, Hazen Union High School on a spectacular day for soccer. And I'll tell you what, these Winooski Spartans have come in with a record of 6-0, and and our Wildcat boys are playing them tough, clawed their way back from an early 2-0 deficit. It was Winooski getting goals by Lutell and by Simba to give them the 2-0 lead. But then uh, Isaiah Baker scored a beautiful goal on almost kind of like a – a knuckleball kind of shot, Harry. He, he kind of lifted it up over rather than just scream it past uh, nice. the uh, Spartans goalie, Mampuya. And then we saw Colton Nimi convert a penalty kick after a call on Finn Rooney down here on the box. A slide tackle, if you will, uh, called against uh, Hussein Amuri. And just like that, the Cats have tied this game up at 2-2. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days, breakfast all day. And once again, our sponsorship for all Hazen Union Soccer, Wildcat Boys, and Lady Cat Girls is sold out for the season. And we want to give an extra special thanks to all of our sponsors. We couldn't be us without them. So let's see what happens now. I mean, uh, the thing coming in, I talked to Coach Bursting before the game, and I, I talked about this a little bit in the first half. A, the Cats are a little bit tanned, ready, and rested. They've had about uh, almost seven days off after a tough loss up at Enosburg, and uh, no real injuries out there right now, and he was hoping to contain and contend with the Spartans, and that's exactly what he's done. See what happens here in the second half. Happy to have Lady Cats... Coach Harry Bissett up here to provide expert commentary. Hello. Happy to be here. And the Lady Cats will be hosting the Richford, is it the Rockets or the, the girls of the Rockets, right? The boys of the Falcons? I believe so. Here I tomorrow so. afternoon as we've got traffic in front of Ethan Shoplin. Spartans looking to get a shot on. A lot of defense right there. Is that what you call stacking the defense, Harry? <laughs> yeah, I, I think that would be a good description. Ball kicked out by Riker Willette. Ball booted out by Willette once again. Throw in. 
Willette runs that one up the line. Can't get it by the Spartans player. There's a shot on. Uh, Chopper down. And Harry, the, the Lady Cats suffering a rash of injuries. Yes. Uh, Kai Gilbert, are you liberty to, I know some coaches don't like to discuss injuries. You know, are you a Bill Belichick? Or <laughs> can we talk? I heard Kai has uh, knee issues now. Uh, I think uh, we have a few girls just strain some muscles. Okay. They were, they worked, we worked really hard to get a shutout in the second half of our last game against Oxbow, and, but a few girls just uh, got a few light muscle injuries. But okay. hopefully by the end of the season they'll be bounced back in 100%. And Allie Gabry, can you tell me what? I, I broke something, right? Yep, she uh, she had a great half and goal, but unfortunately in a scrum in the box she got stepped on. Uh, and the girl happened to, one of the spikes went right into her knuckle and she uh So it was a broken her, knuckle, she, okay. Yep, she hurt her hand. But okay. she, uh, she'll hopefully be able to bounce back and play with us, but she won't be seeing any more time in goal. And hopefully, and sounds like she'll be 100% before basketball season, which Excellent. is her sport of choice. Yep. All right. Well, we will be up here on the roof tomorrow night because I believe the weather's supposed to be pretty decent. Uh oh, there's a shot on score. Penetrated the defense. That was by Simba, his second goal. Just got in, found a little seam in that defense, a little crack, got the foot on it. Low shot, hard. Low, hard into the corner. That's You score a lot of goals if you can consistently put them low into the corner. Now, there's one of these goal, one of these players out here. You know which one it is, Harry, that's got like 93 goals? I don't. I wish we knew. I don't, but I guess he... Uh, He's quite a score. He's had quite an impressive high school career so far. And I believe that's that's in three years, if, if I remember what Cody told me. Uh, could be by Simba. He certainly found the net. He said that's the second one. So, But there is a Winooski player out here. I should have been a little more diligent on my prep for this game. Who has scored like 93 goals. And if it happens to be by Simba, he's now got 95. Ball played up ahead. Lincoln Mitchett. Cats back down 3-2 now. We'll see what happens. They have shown themselves to be a resilient team this season. There's a offside call. You can see the motion of his arm. He's waving that uh, he came from an offside position into an onside position to receive the ball, but he started in the offside position from where the ball was kicked, and that's why he uh, flagged him off. Once offsides, always offsides. Right, and it's wherever you are when the ball is kicked, it's not where you are when you get the ball, which can be really frustrating to uh, receive the ball in front of the defense. By Simba in again, and there's another goal. And that is Albert by Simba. Now with the hat trick on the day for the Spartans. And now Hazen the looks a little back stunned after, after going down one. They look a little stunned. They yeah. need to be able to find a way to pull themselves out of this and not completely implode for the rest of the half. They have to dig in a little bit and try to figure out how to slow them down. Their defense, once fairly impenetrable, now has been penetrated. But with Shoplin being back there, Shoplin is a veteran keeper. Veteran keepers, can they generally keep their heads in the game? And a, a couple good saves, and he'll be able to inspire his team to pull themselves back together. And inspire himself. Right. But he, so he, uh, there's some pressure on him, too, to come Stop. up with a big save, and that might be a turning point for the team. Cody did a great job there holding himself on side to collect the ball, uh, but unable to bringing it across to, who's that, Baker? Baker here on the The defense was just a little yes. too quick to, they did a good job shutting down the play. We noticed that in the first half, their defense, particularly that uh, number 12, Matthias Waki Longo, is double quick back there. I, I, don't, I don't know if we have a player who can really, Cody or Finn, maybe if you gave him like a two-step lead, might <laughs> be able to get by him. But one-on-one, -on -one, I don't think they can beat him. He's fast. Baker, shoulder to shoulder. Hey, 
Going against with Nuru Amami. Throw in. It was Riker Willette looking for Baker here on the near side. Cody's going to be looking for either, yeah, Nimi or Baker. Baker's right there. Bounce through. Can't quite catch up with that one. And I got to tell you, Harry, that was the most delicious gummy shark I've ever had. <laughs> Harry Bissett giving Griffin and I gummy sharks here at halftime. Well, I thought you could use a little sugar. It was, yeah, that was phenomenal. Turn. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. By Simba. Easy. That makes four. Shoplin took a risk and unfortunately just got it wrong. Four goals for Albert by Simba. And it is now a 5-2 game. See if the boys can mount any kind of an attack, attack here and get uh, something going. Oh. Oh. Wow. That's a good example of why you always pressure the goalie. <laughs> and, and and our other coach down here in the stands, Jim Bellamy, backs you up on that one. <laughs> That's why you shoot on goal. And I've said before, Wyatt can score from anywhere. <laughs> he almost proved it there. Ooh, <laughs> miscommunication by the def by the Hazen's midfield and defense. Thirty-three minutes left to go in the game. Spartans back up five-two. Three quick goals by by Simba. Nice play out. I believe that's Riker Willett out on defense. Yes. Oh, Colton Nimi got away with one there. Threw a little bit of a hip check in there. Shopper down. The other thing I was mentioning earlier in the first half, Harry, Wakilongo has it bonds up over his head, back. Oh, Ooh, now he technically can't play that, right? Did, they, uh, did we get the call? They want a so, handball. Yes. So an intentional pass with your foot back to the goalkeeper is an infraction. Um, what the ref might be. So if he'd headed the ball back to his goalkeeper intentionally, he can pick it up. What the goal, what the referee might have been looking at there was, did he really intentionally try to pass that back? I thought he did. The fans certainly thought he did. Yeah. Um, but the ref might have looked like he was nervous, kind of poked at it, trying to hit it back, and the goalkeeper happened to pick it up. I'm not sure. He might have been, i give him the benefit of the doubt that it wasn't on purpose, yeah. I guess. Hayes and Faithful, not happy with the call, though. Um, if you're trying to kick the ball forward and it comes off your foot and just accidentally ricochets back, the goalkeeper right. is allowed to pick it up if it's unintentional. So the ref, ref might have given them the benefit of the doubt that he didn't intentionally poke it back, but certainly the Hazen fans thought it was an intentional poke back to the keeper. Wanted the handball. At this point, any kind of a... Now, if, if they call... Uh, this Here's another thing. I have no clue on this one here. I'll show off my, my soccer ignorance here. So... Say it was called properly. The, yep. the, the player played it back to the goalie. The goalie picked it up, handball. What happens? Uh, it would be an indirect uh, free kick inside the box. Okay. So a uh, goalkeeper handball is an indirect kick. Okay. It wouldn't be a penalty kick. Okay. They, they, they aren't um, quite that harsh with the punishment. Julius Rosenthal plays that one back. Colton Nimi up overhead. Waki Longo back. Cody down, going to get the turn, going to get the shot. Saved by Mampuya. Wow. That ball rolling around all over the place over there. Mampuya. Desperate goalkeeping, but got it eventually and managed to keep himself inside the box. He ended up right in the top corner, which you don't usually see goalkeepers do. But he had to scramble to get it, and he won the ball. He did. 
I couldn't see who else was in there for us. I think it was Colton, maybe? Was it Nimi? Uh, it was sure. in there as well on that play. Either way, great action here. Here's by Simba once again. Passes over. Excellent passing by Winooski. Shot. Knocked down. Shopper. Come boy. Now we're seeing both goalies scrambling. And we've seen a lot of players slip, too. Is the, are the fields, you guys were practicing up here on the other side. Is the field real slick out here today after that rain last night? Um, they, they were damp. Um, I think some rain came through this morning, too, or this afternoon. We've seen a few um, players slip out here. Yep, I think uh, colder weather, nothing's they really had time to evaporate. Yeah. A uh, brisk fall afternoon here. Yes, excellent fall afternoon. Baker in the corner. There's Nimi, Wyatt Bellavance can, well, skips through. Cody gets a foot on it. Everybody trying to get in on that one. Wow. Like I said, this is sort of reminiscent of the first half. Early in the first half, we had several golden opportunities like that and just couldn't quite capitalize and get the right foot or the right angle or something on it. On both sides of the ball, Hazen seems like they've been just half a step off, just not yep. quite able to shut them down on defense and can't quite connect to the, get the yep. final pass into the net. Free kick, Spartans, 28-54, left to go. Ball up through, offside. Yep. It was an excellent driven ball, though. Uh, just missed by the Winooski striker. The other thing I mentioned earlier in the first half, and I, I've seen him do it once. I haven't seen, it, seen him do it as much in this game as I've seen him do it in previous games. The Winooski players will have the ball, like, in front of them, and go into sort of what I call a Lord of the Dance routine where they, you know, kick their heels and do everything around, and the yep. ball is actually sitting still. Yep. And yep. You, know, you get so mesmerized uh, watching their feet. Right, and you're just kind of trying to trick the def defender into making a mistake or making a move first, and then you can just touch the other way. It's uh, that's the kind of uh, neat to see when it, they do it. It is, especially when it's successful. Sometimes you end up just falling yeah. on your face. Which is what happens when I try to do that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I would not even dare. Baker. Late whistle. Yep. He just Referee Mike Clark. So we're waiting to see if we see would if have the advantage, advantage or not. Right. Okay, if yeah, the def right. defender had stopped and we were able to pick it up, then they would have wouldn't, uh, wouldn't let have us keep playing because we would have had a better attacking threat coming in from outside. But Mike Clark, a veteran referee, also yep, runs – uh, Big Hosmer soccer camp? Yep. Big Hosmer soccer camp just celebrated their 40th year. Wow. Ball back. Can we get a shot? No. Cleared out by the Spartans defense. Mitch it up. Turn around. Bellavant shoots wide. Cats trying. 27-10. Left to go in the match. Was talking to... Uh, Mike Clark before the game, very excited with this, the way his Giants performed. A um, little ray of hope with their new quarterback. <laughs> I also reminded him that the Cowboys were 3-0. and <laughs> Caleb Friend down, not getting back up after colliding with the Winooski player. I think he's back up now, though. Yep. Shopper, chip out. Yep, safe from the outside. But Winooski looking to move fast here, though. Player trying to get lined up, actually lost the ball. Mike slowed him down. Rosenthal, beautiful play to keep that one from going out. And we're going to have a push. That'll give the Cats the kick. Winooski player a little liberal with the hands against Colton Nimi. Nuru Mami. Rosenthal, high kick up. Taken back down, though. Winooski. Good defense. Nimi up ahead. Cody over there with Waki Longo. A little bit of sun peeking out onto the field now. If anything, it might give the Cats a little bit of an advantage because it will be in Mampuya's eyes if it stays out for the remaining 25 minutes of this game. Watch the cloud cover. 
Cody, long throw, middle of the field. Davison over. Boy, if Baker can get the turn, nice play to get it back up. Gonna give him a shot. Wyatt Bellavance with the header wide. Was that Wyatt or was it Tyson? I couldn't tell. Uh, number two. Okay, that's okay. Tyson Davison Tyson. trying to get the header on it then. Tyson. Lewski looking to get the turn here. Play back. James Montgomery plays that one ahead. Caleb Friend back over. Ball trickles through the middle of the field. Winooski. Cody gets the boot up, back out. Nimi. Rosenthal has to go off the side of his foot over here to Caleb Friend. Friend back over. Mitchett lines up. Boot ahead. Ball through. There's Cody with a step. Puts a shot on high. Yeah. Had a step. Wants that one back. Yeah, he certainly had an opportunity on the right side. The goalkeeper stayed out on his line and was shifting to the left side of the goal. Oh. A little more composure. And that's what uh, the Winooski, what's the Winooski striker's name? By Simba. By Simba. He's uh, been, he's just so cool in front of the goal, and his finishes have been right into the corners and just out of reach of Shopland. It's so important to practice, just putting it to the outside, putting it to the corners. If you can get it into that side netting, it's very challenging for the goalie to get. Crowd cheers as Cody Davison comes out onto the field for the first time this season. Cleared to play after suffering a knee injury last year. Davison knows how to put the ball on net, that's for sure. Spartans on the attack once again. Ball up Rosenthal over there along with Patrick. Thwart that attempt. Hazen goal kick as the sun goes back behind the clouds. Twenty two minutes left to go in the game. Cats. Looking to make a game out of this one. Down 5-2. They'd come back from 2-zip in the first half to tie it up. 2-2 going in. Three quick goals by Albert Bysimba. Bysimba can't be the one who's scoring all the goals because he's listed as a sophomore. So I don't know who the, the one is then that has the 90-something. Bysimba certainly playing like somebody with 93 goals. Absolutely. Scoring some, having some phenomenal play. Which would be even more impressive if that's listed right as a sophomore. I don't know. That's what we'll go by, unless corrected at some point. Rosenthal. Lining up to take the kick. For the Cats. Over on the far side. Ball squirts through. Cody. Shot on. Wide. Goal kick Spartans. Ball played down. Colton Nimi. Ball squirts under Montgomery's foot. Rosenthal back playing defense. Win drops the pass in. Play up. Win.
Wynn drops it in by Simba. Turnaround. Mangar. Magar. Gets that one over. Here's Wynn playing against Montgomery. Good defense by 17 to close him down. That is James Montgomery to... pulled up from uh, JV okay. for varsity. Excellent. Kyle well, looking he, to build his bench a little bit. He showed why he got pulled up as the he tried a clever play to spin by him, and he just did a good job getting right up in front of him, close to him, stopped the ball, and stopped the play. Coach Bursting told me that James will be playing varsity uh, for the duration of the year now. Excellent. Congratulations to him for making varsity. Ball squirts through Mitchell there to take that one out. A challenging first varsity game. Certainly yeah. have your work cut out for you as a defender in this game. Cross goes right through everybody. Point blank shot right there. Griff, if you can get me a number, I couldn't see his number. Over there on the far side, we see him coming up now. Point blank ball kind of rolled through everybody on that one. And uh, number seven, which, that's Lutell, his second one, his second goal. Puts uh, Winooski up 6-2. Not much Ethan really could do with that one from that uh, close. That's a ball that you need your defenders to clear out. Yeah. It went past two of them, and uh, the defense needs to take care of that before the goalkeeper has to have an effect on it. I, I, I believe that's why he was waiting back on his line because it was sort of going past their feet. Right. Like expecting them to pick have it a reaction. up. Right. And so he ended up back on his line. And as soon as he stayed back on his line, got to the offense's feet, and they could just well play shot. was going to beat him every time. And we've seen that with the Spartans team. They certainly know how to place their shots, don't they? They do. Davison plays it ahead. Cody tried to get a foot on it. Spartans, middle of the field. Chip ahead, wide open. Mangar looking to get the left foot on it. Off the post. Shot and again blocked out Rosenthal. That shot was coming as a hard Choplin went to make the save. Yes. A little ahead of the pitch there on that one. <laughs> Referee Mark Clark coming in wants to have no idea what's going on here. Having a word with Julius Rosenthal. Julius a little over exuberance on defense maybe or something? I believe so. Is this something I think you wanted to clean up with him? Uh, Mike has certainly seen every trick on the book that any yep. soccer player wants to try. Not much is going to get past him. But despite the scoreline, he just wants to make sure everyone keeps, a, keeps their head. and Right. Keeps Don't want things to get any uh, chippy out there. You right. Know? right. As we like to say. Bellavance powers through. Caleb Friend. I don't think he saw that he had number 10 back here. Was, uh, he didn't see just over his shoulder quite yeah, enough. Davison, yep. If he was able to play it back, he was wide open. He had 15 yards ahead of him that he could have dribbled into. Montgomery up 
Yep. Out of bounds. Good tackle, just unlucky that a little too hard. Montgomery. It's a foot over to Friend. Friend plays the middle. Wanted to get it to Bellavance. Nobody there. Mitchett doesn't get it. Patrick swinging a miss. There's Julius Rosenthal up. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Did he slide out of the no, box? No, he didn't slide out of the box. <laughs> his toe came out of the box, but his body and the part of his body that was touching the ball stayed in the box. I have, in the last couple of games I've been up here watching, uh, goalies on both sides sprinting up to pump the ball as far as they can. and Have uh, gone out of the box. They've There have been some close ones. Uh, we saw a game last year where a ref did call it and gave a free kick right at the top of the box for a handball. If the goalie touches the ball with their hands outside of the box, it is a direct kick. Direct. Okay. They're treated just as Coming a, out they're treated just like sort a normal of player outside the okay. box. Tyson, nice hesitation move over there to make the play. Bellavance tried to s misdirect that one through, almost like you see in hockey, you know, you get a yep. stick on it. Ball ahead. Rosenthal down, wanted a handball. I think yeah, the referee might have been looking the other way. Uh, it was point blank range, it was incidental, his hand was against his body. Uh, if if you call the handball, it was going to be a kind of a harsh one, the, at, especially considering how fast it just kind of rico ricocheted into him. Yeah. This man Puyas, something to watch over there at goal. He, he uh, seems to be a very athletic goalkeeper. And he can certainly put the ball up the field for his yeah. Winooski offense to get onto. Exactly. Davison trying to play that one down. Ball squirts ahead. Baker, score, goal! The butcher, the baker, the two goal, two goal maker for this game. Isaiah Baker, and that's his second goal of the game. Makes the score 6-3 with 13-34. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsor today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days, breakfast all day. Griff on camera. Lady Cats coach Harry Bissett up here on commentary as well. Exciting play by the Cats right there. Isaiah Baker gets his second goal of the game. Makes yep. it a 6-3 game. Yep. The, uh, they certainly exposed Winooski's, def Winooski's defenses. They sort of bunched in the middle and got sucked over, and they were able to bring it into that space. And that's, uh, that's why you always pressure the ball and just keep fighting to push it up. And they got the reward. Nice poke in by Baker. Shoplin boots that one up. Davison wanted to bring it down. The Winooski player right there. There's Lincoln Mitchett. Boots that one over to the far corner. Tyson Davison back to the center. He's in defense. Caught up now. See if they can get back in time. It had potential to be a little scary. Montgomery. Playing against Mangar. Montgomery up ahead. Finn Rooney with the header up. Davison trying to get it up. Finn Rooney in there gets a foot on it. And we have a Finn Rooney draws the, is this a free kick, Harry? Yep, It'd be a direct kick from about 10 yards out, from about 28 yards out from goal. Julius Rosenthal. Well, maybe a little further. Quite a bit further. Rosenthal squirts that one through wide. Not a bad effort, though. He kept it hard and low. Aiming for that corner, just yep. like you said. He's he, yep. They're hearing you, Harry. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Stay right up. Let's go. Win this ball. 
11.25 left to go in the match. Winooski up by a score of 6-3. Once again, Cats were down 2-zip in the first half. Came back to tie it up at halftime, 2-2. But uh, some quick goals by Albert by Simba have given the Spartans a comfortable cushion, let's say. Lincoln Mitchell going to be called down on the fraction here as Mommy goes down. Wyatt Bellavance here on the near side, going up the sideline, over across. Cody Davidson, foot, turn around, back outside for Bellavance. DeHaul. DeHaul with the poke out. Colton Nimi drops it in. Bellavance, back out. Nimi, over. <laughs> Hit his own player, I believe. Nice boot. Going to roll into the box. Mampuya, missed play. Hazen should get a corner. Corner kick. The yep. most exciting play in soccer. Yep, good pressure by Baker. Staying right on the goalie. Force him to make a mistake. Colton Nimi taking the corner for the Cats. 9.35 left to go in the match. Cats trail by three. Mimi High, center. Finn Rooney back in. Nice job, boys. Nice job. Good ball, folks. Stay right up. Stay right up. Come on. Nine minutes. Play hard. McDonald Lamphere trying to get the head on that one coming across. Over there on the far side, that's Riker Willette throwing in. Willette will throw in again. Bellavance goes over on the far side. That's Tyson Davison playing against the defense. And there we go with that spin move, you know, where the ball doesn't even move. And yep, just using your body to keep the defender away and... Sneak off with the ball. Ooh, Finn. Not right, quite ready for that pass. Once again, Spartans come in with a record of 6 and 0. Oh. Undefeated so far. We're 4-2. Next game will be this come for the Wildcat boys will be Thursday the 26th at Richford played at Jay Peak up there on the turf. And I'll, we'll get to go to that game, so I'm kind of looking forward to that one. Yep, wonderful, uh, wonderful field up there. Cody down high. What do you think my advice would be to him? Where should you put that? Low in the corner. That's right. Go low in the corner. <laughs> Their goalie was right back on his line. He had 12 yep. feet to get to on either side, and he's not 12 feet tall. Yeah, low into the corner. Come on, Matt, Matt. Let's see you get one in there. I tell you what, if McDonald Lamphere scores this game, I'm coming down off the roof, and I'm going out on the field to congratulate him myself. <laughs> Mac's just a great kid. Has he scored yet this season? He has not. He has not. I believe it would be his first varsity goal. Oh, well. And speaking of first varsity goals, did I hear correctly? Uh, Madison Brownlee got her first varsity goal. She did. Yes, she did. Exciting uh, stuff. Very excited. Very proud. 
Beautiful play as well. Got a little bit of a breakaway, yes. put it in past the goalie. Yep. It's a great goal. Yep. Excellent build up play by Hazen. Uh, Macy Muller had a great pass up to her on the wing from the middle. Uh, and then there's kind of a scrum towards the 18. She was able to, um, some passing. There was a turn, good defense by Oxbow, turned the ball over. Madison won it back. And then she rolled it low in the corner. She came off the field and said, I couldn't believe it went in. It went so slow. I said, but Madison, you put it right out of reach of the goalie. Yeah. It was going to go in every time. Uh, no, very happy for her. Yeah, she, yes. she had an excellent game. She she deserved to score. It was probably her best varsity game to this point. Very exciting stuff. You only get to do it once, so you want to make it memorable, right? Yep. Nice play up ahead. Wow. Rosenthal blocks that one out. I did hear a story when there was all the flooding in Louisiana that someone just showed up at a high school and pretended to be a 16-year-old sophomore or junior and then lived about a year and a half going through high school a second time. He was about 25 <laughs> years old really? until someone finally did <laughs> some check on him. There, there was so much confusion with uh, destroyed. Right, er records er and everyone's everything. Everyone's houses and records were destroyed. <laughs> That's and he wild. spent about a year and a half. He's, I guess he was on the basketball team, star of the basketball team. <laughs> Just going for it a second time. Yeah, but well. most people don't get to do it twice. No, no. Well, that's, wow. I think he got in a little bit of trouble for that. I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talk about reliving your youth. Yeah. Mimi up ahead. Ball played under. Cody trying to get to that one. Colton Mimi right there. Cody trying to get that one by DeHull. I'll tell you, it's fun for me, Harry, to watch Cody and Colton play together. I've watched them play together since they were Lakeview Lakers. Excellent. Colton, of Excellent. course, uh, in his senior year, Cody Jr. Kind of neat. Is Same way with watching Joey and Zoe yep. play for the girls, you yep. know. And Kai. Kai and playing Kai. up there, too. Yep. But it was fun to see them come all the way up through together. Yeah. Amazing stuff. Ooh, Willette has that one go under his foot. Three fifty-five left to go in the game. Six-three is your score. Winooski has four goals by Albert by Simba. Lutel has two. We have two by Isaiah Baker and Colton Mimi converted a penalty kick to give us our three goals. All in all, though, Harry, I'd say against an extremely talented Winooski team, you know, a few defensive breakdowns. But other than that, I mean, we've we've held our own. And, uh, you know, like you say, yeah. half a step here, half a step there on offense. Right, and this is a team that will absolutely punish you if you're half a step off. Uh, individually, they all seem to be very talented, and they seem to be able to work when they're flowing together and gelling as a team. They seem to be able to just pass it through anybody. Rosenthal tried to get the head on that turnaround. Ball pitched over on the far side. Willette over on that one. Winooski wants a penalty kick. Winooski player down. Winooski player still down. Behind the play, Hazen, no whistle. Hazen on the attack. Ball just barely on the line in the box. Montgomery, throw in. One fifty-five left to go. Coach Bellavance wants the ball called out of bounds, and it clearly <laughs> was out of bounds. The ball was out of bounds. I, I had yeah. looked, uh, looked back across the field. The ball was out of bounds. Was the entire ball the entire way over yes. the entire line? Yes, it was. You, I could see grass between the line and oh. the ball. 
Okay. The referee was back a little bit. Maybe didn't have an angle to see if it was completely out. So we'll give him the benefit uh, of the doubt on that. Like I say, I'm certainly not going to put on a yellow jersey and go down there <laughs> and try and make those calls. I did not see the play. Mitch it. No, don't send it. The refs, or it seems like the hometown fans yes. love to see the ball sent up over. <laughs> but when the defense is 20 feet deeper than the offense, that's – you're not not really a it. recipe for scoring a goal. <laughs> unless unless our offense is lightning fast and the defense decides to stop paying attention. Which they haven't so far. Montgomery over to Mimi. Finn Rooney. Back. I believe that's Caleb Friend. <laughs> oh, is there an echo in here, Harry? Ooh, ball almost got through to McDonald. Yeah, the ball through just needed a little yeah. more pace. Needed to send it a little harder. <laughs> on, that, on that occasion, <laughs> it should have sent it, right? <laughs> oh, might as well have fun with it. Finn Rooney, head down. Davison. <laughs> Giving the free kick to the Cats. 20 seconds left. They're going to have to move fast to do anything here. So the Cats are going to come out of this with their second straight loss. Ball saved out by Mampuya. Dropped their record to four and three. So they'll look to rebound Thursday up at Jay Peak against Richford. But like we said, not a bad outing against a very talented, undefeated team out here. Winooski pushes their record to seven and zero. Oh. Yep, they uh, they will certainly have some positives to draw from, and they'll certainly have learned where some of their weaknesses against a team that will exploit any weakness you have. Absolutely. Uh, and they should be able to. Hopefully fix, clean some of those things up before. Do they face them again this season? Uh, yeah, we play them last game of the season over in Winooski under the lights. So. Excellent. Well, hopefully Hazen will be able to uh, recognize what they've done and uh, pull themselves back up and have a good game later this week. Once again, it was Albert Bicemba scoring four times for the Spartans. Uh, Lutel with two to give them their six goals. Isaiah Baker with two for us. Colton com uh, converted the PK to give us the three goals. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on the local cable that was streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days breakfast all day. Griff on camera, Harry Bissett on uh, commentary as well. Good luck to you and your Lady Cats. To you playing Richford tomorrow, tomorrow at, at 4.30. Home. home at 4.30. Look forward to that game. We'll see everybody again. Have a good night.